first time, Porton lifts its veil of secrecy, or to be more accurate, draws aside its defense curtain, just enough to give us a glimpse of its activities. Britain's establishment for microbiological research has maintained such a tight security screen, it's acquired the reputation of some monstrous Frankenstein. Now it's at pains to show that it's concerned with the protection of human life, not the taking of it. The threat of biological warfare has been with us since the 1930s. Porton's job is to experiment with various types of disease-producing microbes and develop ways of fighting them. Porton has its own special farm, breeding a host of laboratory livestock. But the filming of experiments involving animals is against the law. More important is how a couple of aircraft spraying germs in the air could blanket the whole of Britain in a matter of hours. We were also shown some of the purely medical research, such as work on mosquitoes for the World Health Organization, the studies on virus diseases and methods to combat them. To speed up mass vaccination, Porton developed this injection gun, which fires a jet of liquid through the skin and does away with needles. Porton produced much of the Asian flu vaccine during the last epidemic, while foot and mouth is among their current studies. But some 20% of the research is still top secret. Very properly, they have no intention of giving our defense secrets away. honor the government of France